The overall goal of this procedure is to examine spatial learning and memory abilities in small rodents and rats with the dry land Barnes maze. This is accomplished by first habituating the experimental animals to the test room and Barnes maze. The next step is to place the animal in the center of the maze and begin tracking its latency to locate the escape cage. Tracking is stopped when the animal enters the escape cage or after 300 seconds. The results can show disruptions in spatial learning and memory as increased latencies, increased error rates, and a failure to change searching strategies. The main advantages of this technique over existing methods such as the water maze are that it is somewhat less stressful, easier to perform, and more ethologically relevant for terrestrial rodents. Though this method can provide insight into the toxicological effects of spatial learning and memory disruptions, it can also be applied to other fields such as neurodegenerative disorders, aging, and congenital cognitive defects. Barnes maze designs vary, but generally, each has 12 or 20 potential escape holes, only one of which leads to the home or an escape cage. The escape cage may be situated either directly below the escape hole on the maze top or built into the surrounding wall of the maze. The cues can vary in size, from approximately 16.5 centimeters height or width within the maze to a horizontal line 21.6 centimeters.